Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I have three tumbling tower block DIY. I already glued together three sets of four tower blocks and then three sets of 12 tower blocks and I glued them in the opposite direction. And you could do three, I mean four sets of 12 tower blocks if you wanted to, but I wanted to have the long edge and the long side um, showing around the outside of the square instead of having the little end showing. So for the next layer I am just measuring where I want to cut the tower blocks and then and then I cut them down with the little saw and I will leave a link down below if you're interested. It's quite handy. Handy to have especially if you want to make these DIYs. <laughs> So then I just cut it, cut the blocks down and then I keep gluing them together in a square and you can slow down the video or you could pause it when I finish the square so you can see how I laid out the blocks. And I did do this um, in my last tower block video but for this DIY I'm only going to do four layers. And then I'm just doing the same thing for the next layer. And this layer was easy because I didn't have to cut down the blocks. Well, I can't remember if I said, but I only took two of the 72 block packs of tower blocks <laughs> to make this DIY. And for the video, for everything in the video, I used seven packs, I think seven packs, but this DIY I use it to make the next DIY as well. So you would need another two packets if you wanted to make them all. And then this is the last layer. And just make sure you wipe off any excess glue because you don't want to have that showing when you paint it or stain it. Then I made four of these and they are 12 blocks. So I just glue six of them in a row and then another six and then I glue those two rows together. And you can choose to make this part longer or shorter, it's up to you. After the glue set, I took the pieces and then I started gluing them together. I'm going from the biggest one to the smallest one. And just try and get an equal space around the outside of each one. Yeah, so it looks like a step pattern. And I made two of these and I'm going to stain it with the Waverly Antique Wax but you can use any colour that you like. And then I have these two pieces of wood from Dollar Tree and then this little knob that was off something else. <laughs> and then I stained them with the Waverly Antique Wax. So now I'm just going to put it together but I'm only going to put the glue on this bottom part because I am going to use this DIY to make the next DIY and I'm just gluing, yeah just gluing this bottom part and then I'm going to put the top part on and the little wooden squares and knob I'm just going to place them on top so to show you what it looks like but because I'm not going to use the knob and stuff in the next DIY, I'm not going to glue them down. <laughs> and I think it turned out so pretty. I've wanted to make a lantern for a while. Let's see, everybody likes them on YouTube. <laughs> 
So I thought it would look nice with the step pattern and I'm really pleased how it turned out. You guys can let me know what you think. Okay, for the next DIY, I made one of the biggest squares and then I made two of each of the other ones. And then I just glue them together like this. Just the same way as I did in the last DIY. I'm gonna glue these one, one set on top and then I turn it over and then I glue the other set. And then the, well, the middle part, I made four more of them and I only have six in a row, but after I made it, I took it upstairs to where I was gonna put it and I wasn't tall enough, so I ended adding on another two. So basically, another four blocks for each row. And then it should look like this when you're finished. <laughs> and I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax. And then I made some feet. And I ended up making these longer by adding another two blocks to each one. Well, there were two blocks high. Because <laughs> I wanted it to rest against the wall, flush against the wall. And you guys call the baseboard what we call it a skirting board in Scotland. And I had to make it a bit taller so that it would be taller than that. <laughs> and here I am, I just turned it upside down so that I could glue these parts in. And then I glued the middle part. And you don't have to glue those parts inside the square and you could put them on the edge in the corner because that would give you more room to put stuff on because the squares are quite small so that's up to you if you want to do that and then I glued the legs on the bottom but I didn't put them to the edge so that they wouldn't interfere with the baseboard <laughs> And then once all that was dry, I just glued it to the other part. And then this is how it turned out. And I love it. It looks so pretty when I come up the stairs and see it. Now I made this to fit in that space, but you could make it wider if you wanted to, or taller if you wanted to. You could put more another shelf in it if you wanted. I had to film it straight up and down because it didn't all fit in. And this last DIY I got some paint sticks from Lowe's and you could do this entirely with tower blocks if you wanted to but I didn't have enough <laughs> so I'm using paint sticks. I was just making sure that they were all roughly the same length because sometimes some are quite a bit bigger than the others and then I just glue them all together and that was me measuring if I was going to use those pieces of wood or not, which I do end up using. And I measure and cut these two pieces of wood that I got from Dollar Tree and you could also use tower blocks for this part if you have enough. <laughs> but I bought these a while ago so I thought I'd use them up. And then I glue the two pieces of wood together. And then I reinforce the back with some craft sticks. And I got these in those too. But you can get these in... I don't know about Dollar Tree. I've not seen these ones. But I've seen them in Walmart and Home Depot. And I just hot glue these on. And just to give it extra support because... And the paint sticks are pretty thin and the super glue wood glue is good but I don't know how it will hold up for this. 
and then I reinforce these because I know they're not going to stay together because they weren't they're not straight on the edge there's like little gaps in between but here I made the craft sticks too long and I end up having to saw them down a little bit later on And then I start gluing tower blocks around the edge, which is on three sides. And you do have to, well, I had to cut, cut down some pieces to make them fit. And I do have to cut a wee bit before I decided to put it right in the middle of this row. I just have to push it out a little bit. And then I just measured and then I cut it with the saw. And then it just slides right in. So I just continue to do this. Oh no, I don't continue to do that. <laughs> This is where I had to cut down the craft sticks because they were too long. So yeah, I just used the wee saw for that and then I picked up off with these, um, what are they called? Shear things from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and some of them didn't want to come up, hopefully they didn't want to come off, but I got it off. And then I had to glue all the pieces back on. <laughs> okay, so now I carry on. <laughs> and I just do the same thing and fit them in and cut off the extra bits at the ends there and then cut down any blocks I need to fit in the gaps and this one I only had to cut those two little ends and then uh, once I've cut the pieces I just glue those blocks down and then start the next row so I did to the next row <laughs> But I had to get some more tower blocks and then I forgot to press play again. So I did the next two rows. I'll show you me laying the blocks down, but then they're off camera. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. And yeah, you just do the same thing. Just try to make the next one a little bit smaller. Okay, so you can pause here and you can see how I did that last row. <laughs> and here I'm just putting some glue on the back of the shell so I can glue it to the paint sticks. And it was running out so I had to get the paintbrush. <laughs> And I just put it underneath these little holes and you can put the paint sticks the other way around if you want to put these holes at the top but I didn't want to have them at the top so they're at the bottom. <laughs> and then after that I just fit the tower blocks around the edge of the paint sticks and you can see that all the blocks are in a line with the shelf and I just glue them all the way around but I'm not going to show you that, I'm going to do it off camera and then next I reinforce the shelf with some tower blocks on the bottom and I turned it around so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing 
and I did add one more after this and those ones I slid them underneath that last row on the shelf and then I just cut off these wee extra bits with the saw it wasn't quite dry yet but you should wait till yours is dry and then I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax and then I put a wee hanger, well I was going to put on this part but I decided to move it down a wee bit and I'm just using hot glue some nautical rope from a Dollar Tree, I had this wee scrap bit of it and then some more um, craft sticks and I think it turned out really cute you can always do a different colour or you could put some words in it or something like there's just make it your own but I'd like to know what you guys think thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon